12 time elected liberal is facing corruption charges dems can't believe their eyes there is by all accounts a running joke circumventing that says if a democrat hasn't committed a crime in your neighborhood yet wait a minute while that may not be actually right it points out a developing recognition in the american opens eyes that in spite of the fact that republicans might be degenerate and not do what they said they do after the race is finished the Democrat is being busted for the truly loathsome violations of assault, attack, lewd conduct, advancing prostitution, supporting pedophiles, avoiding charges, running investment funds and credit tricks, selling uranium to the Russians, and so on, and so forth. The observation is developing in light of the fact that, in all honesty, the features appear to show that to be a criminal intends to have a place to the Democrat Party. There's no ifs, ands or buts. While the fake news industrial complex might endeavor to pack down the events by disregarding truly 50 percent of the reports, there's no denying that the left has a virtual monopoly on felonious conduct. Enter 12-time elected Donna Dukes of Texas. This lady is really a perfect case for the jackass party's mill felons. She was quite recently discovered coming to work under bimorphine had missed an entire 65 percent of her days of work at work, and had paid an online psychic in an overabundance of $51,000 in citizen cash. Via the Gateway Pundit Another Day, Another Corrupt Democrat Texas Democrat State Rep. Donna Dukes is facing corruption charges, her trial is set for October 16. Travis County prosecutors claim Dukes showed up to the Capitol impaired hid a cell phone from investigators and spent over $51,000 on an online psychic. Dukes apparently used her own money for the psychic, the court documents do not indicate that she used taxpayer money. Austin American Statesman reported. According to the filing, Dukes paid an online psychic $51,348 from December 2014 to January 2016 totaling nearly $1,000 per week. In other extraneous acts listed in the filing, prosecutors say Dukes was absent for roll call 65 percent of the time during the 2017 legislative regular session, and 36 percent of the time in the special session. Responded to a search warrant for her cell phone by providing investigators a phone that did not match the identification number on the phone they had requested was noticeably impaired while trying to perform legislative duties at the Capitol and showed up late to a House Appropriations Committee hearing on March 29, stating, I know I'm talking a lot. I'm full of morphine and will be headed out of here soon. Agreed to a contract with the Austin School District for her company, DM Dukes and Associates, to provide business evaluations but subcontracted the work to a consulting firm. The district paid Dukes $514,224 from May 2015 to March 2016. Arrived late to court settings on June 30 and August 21. Judge Brad Arusha threatened to hold Dukes in contempt if she does IT again. Failed to submit in a timely fashion both a campaign finance report before the 2016 election and a 2017 personal financial statement. She was fined $1,000. When somebody is on the snare for that much unfortunate behavior, one would trust that the book would be tossed at them. My gut discloses to me that this lady will smooth things out with the court system and the judge by conceding that she wasn't right, encouraging to go to recovery for her disease and guarantee that the cash that she utilized will be paid back with group benefit, maybe by working in the library for up to 14 days, fixing up the Dewey Decimal System. I don't trust any longer that administration authorities, regardless of how much harm they do to the notorieties of their locale, will possess up and die for their transgressions. With the way that one scratches the other's back in the corrupt halls of justice, it's hard to be a genuine adherent to the American judicial system. I've effectively lost faith in the American system of government.